How to fashioning the parts to a stone tomahawk. Tomahawks were used as tools and weapons by many of the native tribes that inhabited North America prior to its colonization. These general purpose instruments have enjoyed recent popularity in the form of tomahawk throwing competitions and tournaments. Whether you plan on using your tomahawk to learn a precision based skill or displaying it as a decorative piece of historical memorabilia, you can make your own hawk much like the Native Americans did so many years ago. Accumulate your tools and materials. With the use of modern technology, you can make yourself a tomahawk in a primitive style with much less effort and in a shorter period of time. For this endeavor, you will need alcohol or epoxy solvent, optional, cold water, epoxy, eye protection, grinder or stone cutting saw, head protection, pliers, pot for boiling water, respirator for stone dust, sandpaper to polish stone axe head. Scissors, sinew, stone for axe head, wooden handle. Evaluate your stone and handle ratio. A stone that is too large will be cumbersome and may put too much weight on the handle. While looking for a stone, you will want one that is slightly thicker than that of your handle and mostly flat, without any jagged edges or cracks. The stone and handle will be notched later so that each fits together sturdily. A suitable, sturdy wooden handle can be bought at your local hardware store. Just about any kind of wood can be used in this process, so long as the thickness of the handle is slightly larger in diameter than that of your stone. Polish your stone. Depending on the kind of stone you are using, you may need to start polishing with a relatively coarse grade sandpaper. 60 grit is a good starting point. You can use finer grit sandpaper once the hard edges have been softened to give your tomahawk head a finished appearance. Slot your handle. Your stone tomahawk head will attach to your handle by fitting into its slotted end. Using a hacksaw, cut one end of the handle of your tomahawk so that it is three quarters the diameter of your stone head of your axe. Prepare to fashion your axe head. For the best possible fit for your tomahawk, you will want to make a corresponding notch to your handle in your stone. First you should make sure you are properly prepared to use your grinder, or other stone cutter, to notch your stone. Cutting stone can create a good amount of dust. You should wear a respirator or, at minimum, a mask to prevent from breathing in this dust. Have a container of cool water nearby. Grinding or cutting stone will create a good amount of heat. You should dunk your stone regularly in your container of water to keep it from overheating. Eye protection is necessary in case a piece of rock or your fiber wheel breaks free during this process. Head protection, like a thick wool hat, can also provide ideal protection if a chipped piece of stone or equipment flies of your grinding wheel. Notch your stone axe head. It is advised that you work carefully and slowly while grinding or cutting your notch into your stone. Stone working tools are designed for this purpose and are exceptionally good at shaping stone, but careless use can result in severe injury. Depending on your grinder, cutter, there could be many configurations for use of this tool. Follow all directions as outlined in the manual, but, in principle, place your stone securely in the cutting area. Make sure all safety catches are in place and guides are in place. Clear all debris from the cutting area that you might get in your way. Turn on your grinder, stone cutting tool. Lower the blade to cut a notch in your stone one quarter wide. The depth of your notch will have to be determined with regard to the slot you've made on your handle. The total thickness of the notched part of your stone should be slightly larger than the slot you've made on your handle. Tips. Always follow proper safety procedure when using tools. Allow all glue, epoxy to dry completely before handling your tomahawk. Warnings. Exercise caution when using metal cutting or welding equipment. You should always observe proper safety measures when using these kinds of tools. Be careful when using a grinder or stone cutting saw. These kinds of equipment can cause serious injury if not handled properly.